Good morning, women on the front lines. This is Wendy Peter here, and I'm here this morning to encourage you about our upcoming Bible study this summer, Fearless and Free by Michael Ann Gall and James Gall. And what I wanted to do this morning is I wanted to give you an opportunity to meet a couple of our leaders from Women on the Front Lines. I've had people messaging me since we did the announcement that I'll be leading Women on the Front Lines here in North America and trying to build it. And people have been asking, you know, who are the leaders? Who's going to be helping you? And so I wanted you to meet a couple of our leaders. This is Cindy Stewart and Ruth Hendrickson. And they are actually visionary leaders that are going to be helping me to build Women on the Front Lines. And I've also asked them to help to lead the Bible study this summer because there's going to be 40 different lessons and as all of you know if you haven't uh, already watched the first video about this I am going to be in Europe this summer and I'm going to be traveling Europe and I'm actually inviting all of you to come with me on that trip and I'm going to be going from country to country so you're going to get to see me doing a Bible study in front of the Eiffel Tower or different places like that and I just thought it would be a great fun way for you to get to know me and come on that trip with me and as well, you know, I want you to be able to pray with me for those countries as we go through and just do things like that. As we do the Bible study this summer, what we're gonna ask you to do is you can either just follow along online or you can order your own copy of the book, Fearless and Free. And I will provide a link at the bottom of this uh, broadcast for you to order that and you can follow along with us. But in the comments, each time we post, we're gonna ask for your thoughts on the Bible study. And we really wanna begin to grow as a community to get it together and share some thoughts. So I wanna have each of our guests here this morning uh, introduce themselves and let you know uh, a little bit about how they found Women on the Front Lines and what their passion is for women. And so I'm gonna start with you, Ruth. Why don't you introduce yourself? My name is Ruth Henderson. I live in Stockton, New York. And one of the questions was asked is how did we connect? How did I get connected or involved in Women on, on the Front Lines? And honestly, you know, Patricia King has done a fabulous job of overseeing that for years. And I had her come do a women's event at our church. And that started the ball rolling with increase in involvement and just seeing what God was doing among yeah. women. And, and it's so amazing to see women who are growing, who want to grow closer to the Lord, who want to develop relationship with each other. And, and it really, um, Women on the Front Lives gives them a place to connect. And that's so absolutely vital because we were never created to walk this walk by ourselves where we were created to walk it together. And there's so much that we can learn from each other and grow. And I've established some wonderful friendships through all of this, and and it's just really been a great, great journey. So I've been involved for a few years now, and just want to encourage you guys to dig in and and build these relationships and grow in the Lord. Awesome, that's so good. And you know, ladies, you're going to get a treat. Ruth is an incredible teacher of the Word of God, and so as we go through these Bible studies this summer, and she's taking turns to help lead, you're going to get some amazing uh, nuggets from her, and. Uh, you're going to see her leading on this page as well, alongside of me and encouraging you in your lives. We're going to do some trainings with her in the fall as well, and you'll see some of that coming up. And Cindy Stewart, how about you introduce yourself? Hey, I'm Cindy Stewart, and I live in Tampa, Florida, and I just love running with other women who want to get all that God has for them. That really is my passion. And I started doing a Women in Ministry Network, which was partnered with Women on the Front Line. And just loved it. What I loved was that pure connection with other women like you, Wendy, like you, Ruth, that I've been able to make deep personal friendships with. I've been able to uh, be excited about what's happening in their lives as they are in mine. And it's just been fun being a part of just a greater picture. You know, God has a greater picture for us. And it, it's just a, it's a wonderful opportunity to connect deeply with women who have a passion like we do to have all that God has for us. Mm -hmm. And I took a little sneak peek on our little first day devotional. It is amazing. So I can't wait. I'm very excited about it too. And Cindy is a incredible life coach and she's a motivator. So you are going to get motivated by Cindy when she is doing <laughs> these coaching sessions this summer with the Bible study. And so we're really excited. We want you to be with us on July 1st as we get started. And what we're going to be doing is we will be video recording uh, the uh, Bible study and we'll be posting it and then you can watch it when you want. But I want to challenge you this morning to make a commitment to yourself 
to actually go through the 40 days this summer. Catch those little videos. We're going to try to keep them yeah. to under 10 minutes. And you can put it on while you're doing your makeup or, you know, washing your dishes or whatever. But I want you to feed yourself this summer and really begin to build that vision within yourself to be fearless and free. So I want to ask each of you ladies to give a little thought or a nugget this morning on what are some things the ladies can do to um what is one thing the ladies can do to draw close to god this summer what is one way that you would coach them to do that and encourage them to um set themselves to hear from god and draw close to him this summer go ahead ruth so one of the things god's been speaking to me about because that's there's so many ways we can draw close to god but i figure since i'm just going to share where i'm at and one of the things that god's really been teaching me is worship the importance of worship yeah and whether you are having a tough day or a joyous day, you know, whatever's going on in life, we can always turn our face to the Lord and worship the one who is worthy of all praise. And for me in this season, it's been pretty extravagant worship. Um, it's not it's not the quiet. It's it's wow, God, look at what you're doing. And even on my tough days, that's where I'm at. I'm going to refocus. I'm going to reposition myself to look at the goodness of God and the glory of God and just join with the heavenly realms and worship him. And, and the thing it does is it shifts everything because it allows us to see from his perspective and, and, it, and it, it just opens up those doors. And so that, you know, that's where I'm at. So I would encourage you, if, you know, wherever you're at, worship in the shower, worship, you know, as you're out walking, you know, you can, you can be singing at work, you know, just quietly there and, mm -hmm. and just let that praise fill the atmosphere wherever you're at. And it affects you internally. It also affects things externally. Fantastic. That's a great key. How about you, Cindy? Um, where I am is God has been keeping me in the secret place. Come and on. every morning, I always get up a little bit early so I can get a little extra time in. But every morning, there's always one scripture that just speaks to me. And I've been reading through Ephesians. So each morning, I'll read a couple of verses. And the one that speaks to me, I write it down. And I just let the Lord give me his revelation about what I'm praying into. And it's funny because what will happen is I'll go through the day and that scripture will just pop into my head. And I feel like that time with the Lord is so um, nourishing for me throughout the day. It just sets my whole day to be able to handle whatever challenges, to be able to have rest even as I'm working, which with all of our crazy schedules, you know how hard that is. Yeah. We, learning how to breathe when I actually work instead of holding my breath, hoping I get through it quick enough. But having that secret place time with him, I think is what's really given me the energy and the wisdom and the focus that I need to move forward. That's so awesome. And so I'm going to give one little key as well uh, on how you can really set yourself to hear from God this summer. And it's an interesting key that God showed me. I'm getting ready right now to go to Europe. And my husband and I, we do the equivalent of backpacking through Europe, except we have a roller bag, actually. And we actually tent. We actually travel and camp our way across Europe, which is real fun. You'll get to see some of that as I'm posting and sharing my journey with you. But as I'm preparing for that, if you could see my area in my home right now where I'm preparing, you would see that there is a mound of camping equipment there. There is a mound of stuff. And what I'm needing to do is I'm needing to sort through that stuff and reduce and eliminate anything that will weigh me down. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting about that process, you know, it says in Hebrews that we should lay aside any weight or hindrance that will keep us from running the race. But what I noticed as I'm preparing for Europe is in order to reduce the weight and the drag on what I'm doing, the obvious things are obvious, right? You take out, yeah. you know, the five pound dumbbell that you use at home to lift weights and you don't bring that to Europe, but it's the little things. And interestingly, there's a lot of little things in my bags that only weigh about an ounce each. And I think, well, that's no big deal. I'll just bring that. And that's no big deal. I'll just hold on to that. But when I start yeah. to add those up, because you have to almost add it up on a scale, there can be lots of those little things. Mm -hmm. And they start to really add up to weight. And all of a sudden, if I don't get rid of those little things, I find myself having to pull too much weight. I found myself dragged down. And I really believe that's an analogy for our life. There is a whole bunch of little things that we give our time to, yes. our energy to, um, that are pulling us down. Sometimes it's possessions. We just got all this clutter. And you know what? It's time to box it up and get rid of it because maintaining it is a bunch of work. But sometimes it's just saying yes to all these things that fritter away our time. 
And so I want to encourage you for this summer that if you want to find the time to do this Bible study with us, if you want to find the time to draw closer to the Lord, I want you to go through and say, Lord, what are the little things that are taking yeah. my time and energy? What are the tiny little things that if I was to put them all in a box together, that would be pounds of drag and weight on my life. And so we're going to just pray for you as we close this morning and ask the Lord to reveal to you those three things. What do I need to let go of? Where do I need to find time to get into the secret place? And Lord, help me find time for worship. So let's Amen. say a little prayer for you. And we're going to really be cheering you on this summer. We invite you to get that book and join us for the Bible study. So, Father, I just want to pray for each lady who is watching this morning and he's this video later today. And I want to thank you, Lord, that you will reveal to our hearts the things that we need to put in the box and put away this summer. All those little things that are taking up our time, because, Lord, we want to be women of worship. And we want to be women of prayer. Lord, the first thing we do when we open our eyes often determines our day. And so as Cindy said, would you help us yes. to put our feet on a path towards our Bible and pick that up and get into that devotional, get into that video, get into studying the word and get that one verse that is our verse for the day and hold on to it. So Lord, I want to thank you that you are going to cause women on the front lines to really grow this summer as we walk mm -hmm. together in the word. And we ask you that you would build us as women you would strengthen our core and that as we come out the other side this summer, we would become fearless and free just as the devotional is titled. So we thank you that you're with us, Lord, and we just give you praise for what you're going to do. Yes, Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you for joining us today. Thanks, uh, Cindy and Russo. You're going to see their faces coming up on the Bible studies and coaching you through this summer. And we look forward to hearing your feedback in the comments this summer as we do this Bible study. We just wanted to crew for you today that you too are going to be fearless and free. So thanks for Amen. joining us. Take care. Bye. Bye.